All right, here's the VAC Station 4000 Model 90 attempting to boot whichever version of NetBSD is installed on this 120 gig Samsung SSD. If you're wondering how I was able to get a 120 gig SATA SSD drive working on a box from 1999, there are uh, uh, adapter cards you can buy. Um, they cost about 200 bucks. Um, I imagine it's, it's kind of a limited, um, limited volume type of item, uh, certainly these days. Uh, so basically this is a, um, SCSI one era sort of SCSI controller. It's an NCR 53 C 94, 25 megahertz. Um, and, uh, that part of it works great. Um, uh, I have the ethernets working, uh, the one driver, that uh, I would really love to get going on NetBSD, and, and I'm going to actually go out on um, probably LinkedIn and try to uh, find the people who uh, originally did the um, VMS support uh, for this guy, uh, is the audio. Um, it has a kind of typical for the air audio um, chip um, from AMD which is, uh, was designed for uh, ISDN phone, basically. And um, so uh, it, it, it's basically the same chip that was in the Spark Station 1 and 2, and so uh, it has NetBSD support. Uh, so basically, um, I'll adjust the camera here. Uh, basically, the problem is that I don't know where within the physical address space of the system... Uh, I don't know where the uh, audio chip is 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 resident. So basically, um, if anyone out there watching this video knows for a VAC station 4000 Model 90, uh, what um, basically what the physical uh, memory map uh, looks like that's uh, connected to um, to this guy, and uh, also it has some fairly complicated sort of FPGAs in it. Uh, that um, and uh, other I/O buses that connect to the main one. So uh, anyway, uh, I think I'm about to stop this video here. As you can see, uh, I have successfully booted a fairly recent version of NetBSD. Uh, I can certainly run VI. Uh, I can maybe run Vim. Ah, yeah. Look at that. Uh, so um, you know, it. Uh, I was uh, having lunch with some. Uh, colleagues and uh they were asking you know what uh what kind of stuff can you do with the vac station you know from from this era well you know, i've got pearl uh i could um build just about anything in their package collection uh you know it's only a 71 megahertz processor so um it's kind of slow to build world but uh that's actually um the current uh, focus of my efforts is to get uh, the bugs worked out so that it can uh, NetBSD can pass its own self tests. Uh, right now, it has some problems with C plus plus exceptions uh, and a few other things, um, but uh, it is in fact a uh, a working system. Um, and and when I say 1999, that's the year they stopped making these. This particular model is made in probably 92. So it is really actually literally a 20 year old uh, workstation. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it, it is uh, quite amazing um, for its time that it is, um, you know, fully supported by a modern Unix system like NetBSD. Um, VMS, by the way, does run on it, runs great, but it doesn't support this uh, this SSD to SCSI to SATA adapter. It sends SCSI commands. They're actually too old. The, the, they're not, um, you know, so NetBSD is perfectly happy with it. Uh, and and that's a good thing because the only SCSI drives that work with this sort of era machine, they're, they're, they're kind of loud. Like I can hear the uh, 72 RPMs or 10,000 RPMs or, or whatever, it's kind of obnoxious. So having the SSD is you can, you can hear it's, it's silent. Um, so, uh, this has been, uh, production of J Camby, uh, for YouTube.